This is John Costa, the editor of Citizens Eye, and we're here on the corner of Rutland Street and uh, Humberston Gate East, as you can see behind me. All the police have now lined up and they've been fully deployed in all of their uh, riot gear. There was quite a bit of a disorder earlier, I think. Um, reports say that one police officer has been taken to hospital after he fell over and was attacked. A lot of racist chanting. One of the police officers behind me actually said, you need to be careful because they've been throwing things over, so that's, you know, that's why they've put their helmets on, basically. Lots of rumours going around and stuff on Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that about like you know large groups of uh, lads coming down from the eye fields and um, I think quite a lot of the EDL actually met up in Market Arbor before they came here as well and coaches. Um, on the UAF side, the other side is a bit more of a party atmosphere. They've got a, a bit of a flat big truck and there's been music and stuff like that. It seems to be quite cool. Whereas um, you could hear the chanting from here and the police helicopter blocked it a lot of it out. And then we've just walked around where the coaches have been coming and people have been getting off the coaches and stuff and again they've been chanting to come down here. And, uh, every now and again they kind of, you know, gets a bit restless and they move about and you hear some chanting and it all goes quiet. I mean the time now is 10 to 3 and the protest is due to take place between 2 and 3.30. Um, I did hear down there that they were still expecting some coaches to arrive so I'm not quite sure how that works. By the time they get here it'll be like time to go. It's interesting, I walked down here this morning to see everything that's been boarded up, like a lot of these restaurants have been boarded up and stuff like that, and the uh, Independent Arts Centre has boarded up, and you could uh, you could actually walk through the cordon uh, to the other side. It's a sterile area between the two cordons, outside where Sainsbury's is. Um, and now, of course, it's just full of people. Uh, the majority of them just kind of milling around, and all of a sudden it'll go really noisy, and then it'll go quiet again. But you can see people here, there's a lady just over your shoulder there with a pram, and obviously she's trying to get through to... trying to get through to the, to the block of flats where she, where she lives and she can't get through. They were giving quite a lot of stick to people that lived in uh, Alexandra House that were looking out of the windows. Um, just be interested to see what happens next.